everybody, it's my birthday. We're heading to Disney World and this is a great view to start out with. We've got a 90 minute drive. Let's hit the fast forward, shall we? Here we are. Prepare to bear left. Here's all the construction for Star Wars Land and Toy Story Land. Sorry, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Studios for my birthday I already have the birthday pin and we're ready to go up Main Street. Here's Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, and a stormtrooper. Darth Maul. I think the cast member that plays Ray looks a lot like Daisy Ridley, don't you? This is the queue line for the great movie ride, which will be closing forever on August 13th. This is the main reason I picked Hollywood Studios for my birthday lunch. We had fast passes, and with the low crowds that were there today, we were able to go straight into the ride. We had no waiting, which kind of made it hard to take pictures of all the things in the lobby. I'll post a link down below to the full ride. The ride itself is about 20 minutes, so putting it here would make it a little long. As you can see in this picture, you can see how light the crowds were. For a hot summer day in July, it wasn't bad. The clouds were there, it kept the temperatures down, it didn't rain until after we left today, so we couldn't have really asked for a better day between the crowds and the weather. We really had a great time. View with the construction you can see when you turn the corner by Star Tours. Cranes moving over Star Wars land. Hey guys, well, on the second floor of Pizza Rizzo looking out over to what will be Star Wars land and Toy Story land. You can see some of the cranes are moving today and you can also see the top of the Slinky Dog Coaster. Next year at this time, we'll be in Toy Story Land. It looks like there's all new glass in the old Streets of America facade. I'm actually seeing the buildings now. Completely different view of the construction. Here's some close ups of the video that I just showed. Here you can see the Slinky Dog roller coaster, the windows on the other side of Streets of America. And it's obvious it's a work zone with all these tools in the window. We then went to see the Muppet Vision 3D show. It's one of my favorites. When you go in, at the ticket window it says the key is under the mat. And if you look, the key really is under the mat. When the cast member saw me find the key, he was all excited and he yelled, Yay, we all get five minute breaks, someone found the key. He then saw my button saying happy birthday and presented me with a card from the cast. I really enjoy all the theming in this ride. 
There's always something to look at and something that will make you giggle. Just as we passed Star Tours, on our way back to the center of the park, Darth Vader was out in full force. We ate at the Hollywood Brown Derby, and one of the citizens of Hollywood came to wish me happy birthday. Cheers! Since it was my birthday, I selected the filet mignon for lunch. It was one of the very best filets I've ever had in my life, and I've eaten in places such as Brennan's, and the Commander's Palace in New Orleans, and this was definitely better. It wouldn't be a birthday without a dessert. We had fresh French press coffee and their dessert trio. We picked two different flavors, the signature grapefruit cake and an espresso flavored creme brulee. It really was a magical birthday. The best kind of birthdays are the ones you have at Disney. If you haven't traveled off property, you may not have seen the biggest hidden Mickey of all. Can you see it? It's the electrical towers just outside of Disney property along I-4. I picked up one thing that I've wanted for a long time from Disney, the limited edition Beauty and the Beast drink cup. It lights up and it's really quite magical. <laughs> 